Did you guys know that aliens built canals on Mars? <laughs> well, they didn't, but scientists thought they did. Top six. Science facts, disproven by science. All right, here's some wild facts that scientists used to think were true. So they're not really facts anymore. Number six. Bloodletting. Fact. Ancient Greeks noticed that when a person's sick or injured, liquids would come out, AKA the four humors. Blood, yellow bile, black bile, phlegm. They thought that it was those nasty liquids causing the problem. I mean, if you were coughing up blood, you probably had too much of it, right? So why not help out your body and get rid of some more blood? But how are they gonna let this blood out? Hey. They're not gonna use vampires to suck the blood out of your body. They use leeches, a lot like a vampire, just not as cute. Doctors would just throw a couple of those bad boys on you and you would bleed. A lot. And sometimes you die. See, they figured... Women bleed for days every month and they don't die. Unfortunately. It's kind of different. They bitchy though. Hey. Okay. A lot of patients died during this process, but the ones that lived high-fived their doctors and gave great Yelp reviews. This technique was used until the 1800s, so for 2,000 years, leeches were a part of med school. The answer's leeches! Um, I think I'd prefer the vampire. Please. Because he's hot. Number five. Astrology. Fact. Astrology is the study of the relationship between the stars and human events. And the last page of any worthwhile reading material. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Did scientists ever really believe this? Yeah. Along with Gwyneth Paltrow, they considered it straight up science fact. The Chinese, Indians, Mayans were all super into it. Even kings hired astrologists to stare at the sky and tell them when their enemies were gonna make moves. Guess they didn't have wiretapping. Or computers or phones or anything to tap. Set that ass! <laughs> All right, so let's say that we're buying this for a second. I was born on November 26, which makes me a Sagittarius, which means that I'm adventurous and half horse. Yeah, that makes sense. I like to run with the wind. But then in the 17th century, they figured out that the Earth revolves around the sun, and the stars weren't just like dancing around us, figuring out people's personality traits and controlling your personal day. Unless you're having a bad day, that's not your fault. That's Mercury in retrograde. Number four. Martian canals. Double fact. So this astronomer, Giovanni Spaghetti, was looking through his telescope one day when he noticed these long straight lines on Mars. Weird. Giovanni said, No natural feature runs in a completely straight line. Someone must have built these. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. Aliens? Not the illegal burrito-eating kind, I mean like the Sigourney uh, Weaver kind. Okay. Weird. 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 Super weird. Yeah, that's weird, Mr. Spaghetti. Good find. And it's Shia Pirelli. Yep. That's what I said. Spaghetti. Obviously he was so excited that he told everyone. But then when other scientists looked at it, they confirmed it. Yeah, they thought that maybe it was some irrigation canals built by thirsty Martians. Turns out that these canals were just an optical illusion caused by the crappy telescopes from back then. In 1965, the space shuttle Mariner 4 flew by and took pictures of Mars' surface. No. Canal. I mean, to be fair, there could have been canals there at one point, though. The aliens had a hundred years to pack up and continue their hiding on it. Number three. Hollow Earth. Fact, 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 fact. Because it's hollow. Get it? This idea probably started in good old mythology. You know, you go to the underworld when you die, right? Under the world. Edmund Haley suggested that the Earth was made up of a bunch of shells, kind of like a Russian nesting doll. He said, We live on the outer shell. Inside that is a planet the size of Venus. And inside that is a planet the size of Mars. And inside that is, well, I don't know, probably a creamy Tootsie Roll filling, I, I imagine. Delicious. I know. In 1818, my man John thought that the Earth had five shells, each with openings at opposite poles. So in order to get to the center, you had to like zigzag back and forth. You know, like those maze placemats at Applebee's. Shut up, you know you love them. He wanted to go to the North Pole to look for the opening to this cool maze, and President John Quincy Adams was like, Go ahead, but wear a jacket, it's cold up there. Cool. And then Andrew Jackson took office and was all like, No, that is gay of the homosexual nature. Is that what he said? Now we know that Middle Earth is a liquid ball of magma, and there's no maze. Number two. Phrenology. Factastic Mr. Fact. Phrenology. The idea that the size and shape of your head is directly related to your personality. Phrenology. In the 17th century, they figured out that personality comes from your brain, and different parts of your brain do different things, which is pretty much true. So good job, science. But then they took that information too far. Like if you had a lump in a certain area, they decided you had more of that part of your brain. Like if you had a lump where the movement part was, that meant you were a good athlete. And then they took it five steps too far and decided that every little tiny part of your brain and every little divot and nook and cranny decided every little tiny part of your personality. Karen, I need you. Up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're a mathematician. Oh, no, I'm a writer. And argumentative. And made of metal. That's a bobby pin. Argumentative. So phrenologists would run their hands over your head or use this to measure different head parts to treat you for anxiety, depression, being argumentative, or whatever. That sounds completely accurate. And number one. Maternal impression. Uber fact. Maternal impression. 
The theory that when a mom thinks while she's pregnant will affect the personality of the baby. Maternal impression. I get it. For example, if a mom's like all over the place when she's pregnant, boom, bam, pow. Kazam. Baby's a schizo. If a mom's frightened by an elephant when pregnant, <laughs> abracadabra, bitch. Her baby comes out as the elephant man. No, for real, many people actually believed this. They seriously thought he was deformed because his mom couldn't keep her cool around Dumbo. Thankfully, this idea was thrown out in the 20th century and replaced by genetic theory. Some grandmas still act like it's true. They're all like, think happy thoughts when you're pregnant. And I'm like, grandma, I'm not pregnant. It's the Cheetos. And come on, thinking happy thoughts for nine months would be impossible. I can't even think happy thoughts for nine minutes because then I remember there's no maze or Martians and I'm half horse. Top six. All right, so if scientists were wrong about all of this stuff, then what are they wrong about today? Maybe we can fly. I'm Kelly Landry. You're smarter than you were. Oh, no, can't fly. Fact. All right, so this astronomer Giovanni Spaghetti was looking through his telescope one day. <laughs> so this astronomer Giovanni... <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny! So this is... <sighs> I can't, okay, so hide. So this astronomer Giovanni Spaghetti was looking through his telescope. <laughs> okay, so this is... <sighs> I just said, okay. Arriva Derchi. Arriva Derchi. Dad. We live on the outer shell. Inside that is planet. Size of V. What? Uh-huh, yep, you're a mathematician. Mm, I'm a writer. And a bitch. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> obviously not, obviously I'm just acting. I understand. Yep, you're a writer. Yeah, that's true. Oh, fuck. 